The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I heard the following story from Rabbi Shlomo Yehuda Rechnitz. And Rabbi Shlomo Yehuda Rechnitz is one of the great Balei Tzadka, one of the great Balei Chassid of our generation. A man who lives in L.A., in Los Angeles, and he has so many solicitations for Tzadka, so many people coming to him to collect money, and he gives to everyone, everyone. And generally doesn't ask many questions, he's just happy to give. But he told me that one time, he told me that there was a Svar the Shayid, Taimani Jew, who sits down next to him in Shul. And some of you minding his own business and he's davening, but he noticed something very strange. He noticed that this Yid who was sitting next to him in Shul is davening next to him with his sitter upside down. What a charlatan! What a fake! He doesn't even know which way to hold the sitter. Okay, he decided that if and when this man came knocking at his door, it was time to teach him a lesson. Sure enough, two days later, later the man shows up at the Rechnitz family home. And Shlomo Yehuda looks and he says, Oh, Shalom Aleichem, welcome. I'm glad you could come. And this is it. Ah, I'm going to teach him a lesson once and for all. So... Shlomi Huda sits him down, and he's asking a lot of questions, and the man, strangely, seems to be very, very sincere, and he's got, you know, he's a very intuitive person, Shlomi Huda, so he, it seems like very strange, you know, okay, but listen, he he says to him, do you know how to read? I'm just curious, you know how to read? Go for the jugular, you know, the man said he did, so Shlomi Huda asked his daughter to go fetch a sitter, uh, he gives the man a sitter, and sure enough, once again, the fellow takes the sitter and he holds the sitter upside down. Well, Shlomo Yehuda says, uh, could you read for me a little bit? Sure, you know, he's certain that the man's not going to be able to read a word. And sure enough, the man starts reading perfectly. He turns a page. He says, could you read that page? The man didn't ask any questions. He continued reading. And the next page and the next page. He says, um... Can I ask you a strange question, seeing that obviously the guy was not a fake? He says, why do you hold your sitter upside down? And here is where Shlaim Yehuda was enlightened. He said, I grew up in Yemen. We were so poor in Yemen that we only had one sitter, one chumash, one sefer of Mishnayis for the entire class. And we all sat around the Rebbe. So if you sat next, sat next to the Rebbe, you read by reading the Siddur straight. If you sat opposite the Rebbe, then you only saw the words upside down. I sat on the opposite side. The only way I can read is by reading upside down. Shlom Yehuda thought that he had a fraud in front of him. And boy, was he mistaken. He took out his checkbook and he wrote him a very, very generous check, more so than usual, because he had put the person through the grind and he realized what a mistake he had made. And Shlomo Yehuda told me this story personally. And he said, you know, I learned my lesson. We have to do everything we can. You know, there's a message in the story because the story is about somebody reading it upside down. Maybe that's the message. Read the story upside down. When you are certain that there is guilt and there is wrongdoing, look at it from an upside down perspective and you will find the goodness and the truth even when it's so difficult to find. Until next time, Zagazon, thank you so much. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.